Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is James Hurst again with The Marketing Show. And in today's video, I want to talk with you uh, and Chad. He's on the line here with me today uh, about why would you upgrade from the, uh, from the 297 plan of Go High Level? Why would you go up to the 497 plan or if you're doing annual billing, 414 a month? Um, I wanted to go through in depth what that's like, what, what you get, uh, why I personally uh, kind of pulled the trigger on that myself. I'm on the 497 plan myself and some of the advantages that you get. So actually this is kind of the sales, this is kind of what you would get if you were to go and upgrade and kind of these are the features I would just go over. Um, and then any questions, chat, if you have any questions as we're going along, feel free to chime in and you know ask those questions, help me fully demonstrate and uh, explain this. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, this is called SaaS mode. Uh, really, um, now, I mean, I just like you, many of you, I started on the 297 plan. And, uh, you know, when you're first getting your legs under you, you, you that's totally fine. You can go create a, a subscription in Stripe on the side and go create a sub account manually. And like, there's no reason not to, uh, you know, get your feet wet with this and, uh, you know, just make sure that you can sell, sell SaaS and, but but there's going to be a point where you're you're going to want to upgrade, and these are going to be some of the reasons. Now, can you customize those plans right there? Uh huh, definitely, yeah. So first of all, you're going to get yourself uh, the SaaS configurator, right? So the whole idea of SaaS is that instead of manually creating accounts and manually setting stuff up in Stripe, is that you could actually come here uh, to you know and build out your own agency's sub account uh, creation page. So this is like. Uh, your own agency's page that's going to sell uh, your white labeled version of Go High Level. Okay, now the the big picture idea, which is really really cool, is that them coming here, they come here and they fill out their information, right? So, uh, Cascade Dental Services, right? And then they put their name, they put their email, they put their phone. This very information that they're typing in to sign up uh, for your SaaS. That's actually going to come over. That's actually going to be when you come and make a new sub account, it's going to automatically pre-populate um, that new account with the information that they're typing in right here. So you're actually putting the, the burden of, uh, you know, data entry for that new account onto onto the new the new person, which is really Very cool. cool. Yeah. So so then this goes step two. This is this is actually set up as a test right now. Uh, but basically, you fill out your different products. And then they you take their you take their card you take their thing and they hit create account and that literally on the back end with SaaS mode will come if I was to create an account you would now I would hit ref, I would come over here hit refresh and I would then come over here and I would scroll down or search for it you know for Cascade and boom there would be that new sub account that's created on top of that like we said the very data entry. That they were doing so that name that email if if this person was to go check their email they would see uh, that they had been granted a new username and login uh, with the URL and I could actually try to chase one of those down so here's an example so they would basically get an email just like that hey your account's been created from so-and-so's business here's your URL username password if you've put your white label URL it should come through there just like that Okay, so that's really Very slick. Cool. So now they just bought it. They just got an uh, an email login um, to to the system, and it's sitting there, you know, building. It's kind of provisioning that new account, and it should be pretty. And, and you can preload that those accounts with that's, a snapshot, right? That is a good point. That is a good point. So if you have niche down, uh, let's say you know, I always do window cleaning. You know? So if I have a window cleaning snapshot, I just come here and uh, and I pick a snapshot. Uh, to lo automatically load into um, uh, onto that new account. I also Very love fun. the idea of kicking off a workflow, right? Hey, welcome to this thing, and here's some here's how you get support. Here's how you uh, find some training, etc. This is uh, you know just that onboarding of a new client. Uh, you would kick that off uh, in your you would kick that off from your agency sub account. Okay, so here's my agency sub account, and I would have a workflow that uh, kicks off when the form of that type, of that one there has had a purchase, go ahead and kick off those welcome emails, okay? Right. But the, but the username and login one is, is automated. So uh, that right there 
that right there is probably worth it alone. Just the fact that you don't, that it's all automated. That, I mean, that is the main idea. SaaS right. also is subscription as a service, right? So what you're selling here is a reoccurring subscription. Did you have a question? Oh yeah. I was just, I saw that you had the trial period and complimentary <laughs> credits also. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So there's, there's some cool, cool functionality here. You can offer, you can offer credits. Um, right you can offer a trial some some people say don't do the trial some people say go ahead it's up to you um <clears throat> but one of the other huge things that you want to be kind of want to do this before you're ready do the upgrade before you're quite ready for it is is the um the rebilling okay i don't know if it talks yeah email phone text rebilling okay so as part of this configuration and, and we didn't really show this but you can build your own plan and this is actually worth mentioning. So you can, uh, you know, drag calendars over here. You can uh, say, I want this and that plan. You do what you want. Um, for me, starting out, I was just like, hey, just just give them everything. They're not going to really know how to, how to use it. Uh, but do what makes sense for you. Uh, you have the recommended plans and pricing um, like that. There is a limit here. You can only go down to 97, I believe, is the lowest. Uh, but you just play with that. But just be aware. That's good. We want to keep the value high and it's definitely worth it. So that is your SaaS configurator. But here is another really cool thing. Uh, and you can basically mark up now with the SaaS plan. You can mark up um, the, what they call the rebilling. And so you can see your, char your charges. That's what you're getting charged. Uh, high level charges you for those. And then you charge the customer whatever amount you want to uh, mark mark up okay and if you have no idea what you should mark up um i think 2x is just a great place to start yeah that's, that's a pretty good place to start that's what, I, that's what i've seen a lot of other people do and similarly on the email uh you can you can uh, take your markup if you have sophisticated customers that know what they're spending on on uh you know texting because they just that's because they had already done a lot of it then they might they might call you on you know your 5x markup but yeah uh, for sure anyways but yeah 2x markup's great and what does that look like uh you basically just you basically just get payments you get uh depending on how often they want to um so there's like the 147 a month for the actual crm but there's like uh there's a payment there for um charges depending on uh, if they want to pay ten dollars at a time fifty dollars a time whatever threshold um, they set that up on uh, on their end. So that is really okay. cool. It, just, it helps pay for, you know, the cost of the tool. Uh, right. And if you, in fact, I have another client I'm about to onboard. He's going to be mostly texting. Like I'm not even charging him that much for uh, for the CRM because I know he's going to be huge on texting. And so I'll make my money there uh, right. on, the, on the rebilling. And some of these bigger players, you know, they're going to be sending, you know, thousands and thousands of emails and, and texts. And so that can be a profit center. If it's a small little local business, you know, who knows, but at least you're set up and ready uh, for anybody that is going to do a lot of texting and emailing. Right. Makes so sense. That, that's good to have in place before the fact. Okay. Another thing you get uh, with uh, SAS plan 497 plan is the split testing. So basically if uh, you have a, you're here in funnels and automations sites, you basically now get to go and create uh, another funnel page and and split test it. Okay, that uh, it doesn't automatically do it. You have to go and build the other page. What I would probably recommend is cloning the first page and changing something small um, on that page. Right, like an image or background color. Yeah, or, image or, yeah. or a headline. A headline would headline. Also yep. Yep. So so I would basically clone this funnel step, put it here, and so you could do that for any of your pages. Um, Another cool idea is also split testing um, product, like pricing too, product pricing, um, and see how, how a page converts. <clears throat> so you're getting, uh, oh, you know what I forgot to mention back here is that this stuff, this is not trivial because uh, the, the, the automatic provisioning of the user accounts for these different plans, because if, if I was to have to do that manually, um, I would have to go in and when I'm creating a new user for each, for each person, 
I'm going to have to come in here and toggle these, all these different things. Does that make sense? So, so there's a yeah. you're basically tying those permissions that you see on the SAS configurator that it's going to automatically have, have that mapped up. And that will also be done for you, which is another kind of powerful thing. I think we also talked about the, uh, the API. Okay. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with the API. And the big one is the big one is uh, doing um, things using the agency API level key. Okay. So you can actually use this with Zapier, just make API calls. Here's an example call. Um, but the, in order for this to work, you've got to have this kind of an API key, which I'll have to blur out eventually. Um, but so that is the ability to use something like uh, you could make your own standalone app with Python or anything else like that. You can also use Zapier. You can also use a uh, something like uh, Make or Integromat. And just to give you an idea, you can have to do all these cool things. But look at the different kinds of um, features you have. So um, agency level API is right here. So get locations, create a location, update a location, create a user, get all users. Those are some of the API calls um, you get with the agency API. And I will just say that this, this thing here is made by another uh, third party expert on ghl so this is this is not come standard with make um but it, it, it tells you the possibilities that are there okay. yeah lots yeah lots of possibilities <laughs> yeah so yeah you get that agency level api key and you're off to the races doing whatever cool thing uh wh one example of what you could do with an api is uh i had a training on this it was basically how to update your Facebook page URL. It's on my YouTube channel as well. Um, and I actually made a training on it. What's up, everybody? So, And it's right here. So it's called how to update custom values using a GHL form and the API. So I had the thought that, okay, I have this website and a snapshot. It's all ready to go. And I have a Facebook page, you know, a little Facebook icon with a link to my Facebook page URL, right? Well. Uh, yes, I got their name and email when they, um, when they signed up, but I didn't get their Facebook page URL yet. So maybe in that next automation, I say, hey, let's get some more details from you. Uh, what's your Facebook page URL? What's your Instagram? Um, what's your, you know, your address? Uh, uh, other information. When they, when they fill out the form, when they fill out the form for their Facebook page URL, in fact, if you watch the very beginning, there it is. Okay. So now the final test is I just got a new customer. I want to stand up a new, I want to stand up a new client and they have a different there. Maybe their maybe theirs is power wheels, uh, Florida. So I have a different client with a different, um, custom value. And I am going to go and update that to Power Wheels Florida. Hit submit here. This should say Power Wheels Florida. All right. So, sorry if that was a little confusing, but basically taking a form, no, I get it. <laughs> updating custom values, uh, you would use the, use the API for that. Very cool. um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're kind of a, you know, a client here, a client there, you can definitely get away with, you know, doing things manually, right? Uh, but hopefully the idea is to get your processes streamlined. Make it scalable. Scalable. If you want to go yep. scalable and streamlined, if you want to run any kind of paid traffic, if you wanted to throw a Facebook pixel on here and retarget people, uh, if yeah, if you want to make this scalable, um, then SAS mode kind of helps pay for itself with the rebilling. Um, it makes it pretty easy with Stripe to, uh, yeah, we didn't really talk about that, but basically, basically what happens on the, um, on the SAS configurator, if I can find it, <clears throat> basically when you make these products, you get certain products here. This connects up to, these are Stripe product IDs. And then you go and you make your funnel 
you would use those products and that's how it's all tied together. So um, this, this, it's pretty sweet. I mean, this is basically unlocking everything that they have to offer. We, there was one little thing too with, uh, with the Eliza bot. That's an appointment booking bot. Um, so it does give that ability. So if like someone replies and then you wanna add a, a booking bot here, um, you want to book an appointment, it ties it to a certain calendar. And, and then it kind of talks to them, hey, you know, on Tuesday or Thursday at 10 or 2 p.m. And it kind of basically tries to get them to book a book an appointment bot. I haven't used this a ton, um, but I know I know that it's out there. Uh, I'm trying to think it seems, it seems pretty cool. I'm sure yeah. it'll come in handy, yeah. 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 And there is like a um I've heard of a human rollover. There's also, a, just to be aware, there's a slight difference there. I did search Eliza here, and there's a different kind of service for the Eliza agent platform. You'd have to really go into the detail, but it looks like it's a separate a separate offer from them. So, yeah. Um, so I am, uh, I am uh, an affiliate for High Level for people that are trying wanting to upgrade. And so um, for anyone that used my link, I could definitely throw in a snapshot a little bit of consulting to kind of get you up and running. Uh, one of the things you're going to want to know how to do is, oh, I have my existing clients. How do I um, how do I migrate them to SaaS mode, right? Uh, and that's something that I would help you uh, do. Um, so let's see here. So if I was at here, you have your different accounts, right? You um, you would want to um, enable SaaS mode on here. Right, and you're going to go find an uh, a, uh, find an existing subscription, hopefully in in Stripe. Uh, you can also do customizable rebilling, okay, right? for, for for one client versus another. So there's there's some stuff to know there. Um, gotcha. So you so even though you have your default rebilling, you could theoretically, if you had a customer using more, right. you could yeah, okay, gotcha. That's right. So yeah, cool. what I would offer is you know a little bit of one on one. I want to get you on your feet and have you successful with it. And then I'll also throw in uh, this create a support ticket. This is a support portal. Uh, basically, it just comes with the ability to add your own uh, little support. It's not too complicated. You could um, you basically create a form, a loom, description, screenshots. That kicks off a pipeline. Uh, that kicks off a, a, an email. And it kicks off um, the, that, that goes over to a uh, support pipeline. So you can kind of have when I was first getting started, people were emailing me or texting me that they needed stuff. And this is kind of a better way to, um, to again, for scale, right? So if I come here to my support pipeline, you can see I have a new ticket, work in progress, close, you can build upon it. But basically you don't want people, you know, emailing or texting the, you, the CEO, so to speak, even if it is just you. Right. <laughs> you, want, you want to get them in the habit of, so of creating a support ticket and that way, from here, I could then someday, maybe it is me fielding all of them to begin with, but someday it would just be a, a quick change to say, hey, you know, Joe, Joe, my, my new VA, uh, you're, you're now, I'm going to assign that task to you. Right. I would, I would throw in, a, I would throw in this uh, support snapshot as well as part of my bonus for signing up with me. Very cool. And if you guys do want to do that. Um, here is the link. It's gohighlevel.com, SaaS upgrade, and I'll put this in the description below. Um, Chad, any other any other questions? Hopefully that was worth your time. <laughs> nah, man, I think you covered uh, everything, all the questions that I had. It definitely looks like it's worth upgrade. Cool, cool. So with that, guys, um, I will let you go, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.